Hello beautiful people. I hope we are all doing good. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of sick at the minute. Sorry about the fucking noises. Pretty grim to be fair. So yeah, you might have been wondering where I've been because I haven't uploaded in like over three weeks. And yeah, it's not because I haven't been playing, like I've been grinding a lot. Like genuinely so much. Unfortunately, when you grind hard mode Karapak, Oh man, it is difficult because if you remember in the last episode, I finished the video on like 100kc, right? And as of making this video, as of editing this, I am on close to 400. It's like 385. So I got my first staff piece on 77 kill count. And since then, I've soloed another 310 hard mode carry pack, or 320. And, yep, no drop. I mean, I've had drops, right, but not a star piece. I, and that's the issue, because I can get maybe, like, I think I average about 8 kills an hour, right? It takes me, it takes me around 6 minutes, give or take. So in one hour, I can do like usually about eight kills. Sometimes I can do nine, but yeah, it's around eight or nine kills. So yeah, you can probably work out in that 320 kills, averaging about eight per hour. So every 10 hours, I'm getting like 80, 90 kills. So obviously I've killed like 300, which means I'm like 40 something hours dry at the minute. And that's like 40 hours of nothing but care pack that I can't even put into a video because I'm not going to sit here and like show like 300 kills where I don't get drops. It's just pointless. By the way, if anyone's got any tips for like how to make the last phase of care pack quicker, just yeah, definitely let me know because I'm still not the best. Like my quickest solo kill has been 525, give or take, but like that was like a really good kill. On average, I get 610, like genuinely 610. But yeah, all I can do now is just grind because I'm already 40 hours in. I'm not going to give up now. You know what I mean? I'm just going to camp this boss until I finish my staff. And I, I don't want to do anything else until I get it because I really want it. It's like the best item in game at the minute. Uh, and one more thing real quick. I just want to give a shout out to these two people right here. Because, yeah, they, they told me that uh, unless I have the staff, it's just not really worth using Calg. And honestly, they're right, because um, basically in the last 300 kills, I've done like a big sample, right? I've done like 150 with Calgarian Demon using scrolls for the crit bonus. And then I've been using like Ripper Demon for like 150 as well. So I've done like a pretty decent sample size. And to be fair, like, Calgarian Demon is still decent, even if I haven't got Fasoa. But it's just that, basically, this is how it is. So, hello, bird. So, for me, I found that Reaper Demon without scrolls is a little bit better than a Calgarian Demon with scrolls. Obviously, if I had Ripper Demon Scrolls, that would make Ripper Demon like 10 times better, right? But obviously, I don't like using scrolls because farming them is so hard. Like gathering hundreds and hundreds of pouches and then transforming them into scrolls, it just takes way too long. But yeah, anyway, shout out to those two guys because they, they definitely told me that like a couple of weeks ago that uh, rip it even is still better until I get for Soa. and yeah to be fair they're right but I definitely enjoyed using Calgarian Demon because um, like the mix of Calgarian Demon along with the Grimoire like I was critting so much but yeah I'll carry on using Rippers for now until I get for Soa. Uh, yep, like the dwarves is on. Yakamaru, yeah, uh, nothing. And uh, nothing. Beast Master. Oh, okay. We got a cheeky three uh, animals coming up. 
Unfortunately, they're not Pavasaurus. Like, my Pavasaurus ones are still on uh, adult, I think. But obviously, these ones here take like a short amount of time. So, yeah, all three of these are adult, but for some reason, these are all elder. There we go. Lovely. Now we can fill this up with Pavasaurus again. Jesus, look at this fucking merchant reward. Merchant shop. Two Gift of the Reapers. And a large Menify offering. Jesus Christ. Insane. That's going to be 40 Reaper points. And see what this gives me. Okay, that is <clears throat> cheeky little full raid complete. All right, loot time. See what we can get. I can reset instantly because I haven't logged in for a few days, so I can like loot this and then reset, like do another raid. It's probably what we're gonna do. All right, let's grab my ring. See what we can get. Hey, uh, nothing from Yaka. Oh, we got an effigy there. Fair enough. Bad. And Beastmaster. Nothing. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. That is another raid done. Alright, two raids. <clears throat> See if we can get anything from this one. Alright, dismiss my Ripper. Grab the older, the older ring. The luck of the dwarves. All right, see what we can get. Nakamori first. Okay, uh, nothing. Reroll. Nothing again. And Beastmaster. Nothing. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Maybe next time. Oh, there we go. I just got these uh, Anima Crystals and I handed it in to the last guy. And there we go, I got 5,000 in every faction. Which obviously, um, I don't know, I don't really do Good Wars 2, so it's not really great, but... Hey, well, unfortunately, I just sent off a Ancient Bones mission, but I am pretty much maxed out again. 248 Ancient Bones, so... Yeah, now I need to make another 24 Scrimshaw of Elements. Um, just in case you're wondering, I have a shitload of scrimshaws, by the way. I've got 49 elements, 4 hours, superior ones, obviously. 49 vamp scrims, 16 cruelty. I also have a scrimshaw of the elements with 17 hours and one with 20 hours. Really good crafting XP, by the way. Jesus. About 84,000 XP in crafting in like 20 seconds. Bad. Uh, yep, that puts me up to uh, 69. Uh, uh, Alright, uh, yep, time to go loot another oyster. Let's go. Reset that. Uh, oyster. Good luck. Eh. I've been absolutely burning through my runes, by the way, doing uh, Garapak. Because, I'm still four ticking. I'm, st I'm still going to four tick until I get um, the FSOA. However, like, I used to have so many runes, right? And now, like, I still have a shitload, right? I still have, like, 1.2 million air, 1.7 million, 2 million, 2 million nearly, 100k. But my bloods have gone down so much, I haven't used any death runes. I've still got over a million death runes. But my soul runes have gone down a lot. So basically, all, all of the insight fear runes, right? So I did have over 2 million water runes. I've used, like, over 300,000 more runes already. Because every cast, every auto cast, like, when you 4 tick, you use 10 runes. Blood runes, I had about 150,000, give or take. And soul runes, I had about 130,000 as well. So, yeah, I've been literally burning through my runes doing carry pack. Oh, God. It's going to be even worse when I get the Fasoa. Because, obviously, when you auto attack, when you, when you crit and you get, like, the free auto attack... That it uses runes for each cast, right? So yeah, I'm gonna burn through runes even faster when I finally get it. 
Uh, I don't really know how I'm going to upkeep the runes, honestly. I think I'm just actually probably going to have to do rune crafting. Because even if I buy them daily from stores, it's, it's not enough. Like, the water runes will be fine buying from stores, because you can get like 2,000 every day. Obviously the blood runes, you can only buy 200 every day. Same with the salt runes, pretty much. Oh shit, okay. Wow, there's a drop fam. Oh my god, I've been I've been hating this boss so much. I'm not having fun. <laughs> oh thank fuck for that. Okay, there's a drop. It's not it's not what I want, but it's it's fine. I, apparently this book is really shit. Apparently it doesn't do too much. And I've got a shitload of pages now because I've been camping this boss, so I guess we can try it out. How much is it? Seven yeah, seventeen mil. It's not gonna be good if it's fucking dirt cheap. Not gonna be better than like a scrimshaw or a grim, but I don't know, probably I'll give it a miss then. What does it do? Um, all damage while the time rift is active it gets stored. Time rift closes. Twenty percent of the total damage is applied. I, I'll, I'll give it a try. Definitely, to be fair, it might be good. Alright, it's my first ever time here. Not really sure what to do. I want the ability to plant like more than one seed at a time because I'm kind of running low on uh, kind of running low on herbs. And obviously this got released like a couple of weeks ago, so not really sure what I'm supposed to do. Um, I don't need compost for anything because I have my farming cape, which gives me super compost for every patch. What's daily herb? There we go. I just unlocked the shop. Spoke to that guy. So now. Alright, so this is what we need points, right? So we need to just, I guess, plant herbs and use the growth potion to instantly harvest it. And then hopefully I can start unlocking these. There's obviously the, the ability to... What's this? Oh, wow. You get some nice rewards from this. The incense sticks want to be really good. Um, that way if you die, you don't lose the stacks. This I really need because I don't have the add-on for the Master Farmer helmet. Um, what else is there? So this allows you to plant how many seeds? Ten and ten at a time. Yeah, I need to start unlocking this. All right, so I just planted a Toad Flex. Now let me go to the Mana Farm because I have like nearly, nearly a million points here, right? So I can just buy the, I think Leafy Growth maybe. Not sure what I need to buy. Uh. So I have 875,000 beans, so I should just be able to use these points to buy whichever one I need. So I guess this one uh, can be used on herbs, flowers, vines, deer, grow them to or near instantly. So yeah, we buy these. I guess I'll buy 10 for now, I'm not really sure how many I need. Probably going to need like 100, right? <laughs> uh, kind of expensive, the 1k each. I'm going to burn through these fucking 865,000 beans now. But I guess we just go back there, use this, and we just keep doing it until we get points. I'm not really sure how to get the points, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, so I guess we use this on the patch. There we go. That's going to instantly grow that, I think. Then we just pick herbs, and hopefully this is the way I get points. I'm doing Toad Flex, by the way, because this is the ones that I need. I'm kind of low on Toad Flex, so... Hopefully I can just use it on this guy to note them all. Okay. Yeah. I guess we just plant another one. So Yeah, there we go. So I got 25 points for doing that. But I guess the points are gonna be really easy to get. It didn't take too long to get all the upgrades, right? I guess I'm just gonna do this for a bit. Fun fun. I got my farming cape, so I don't need compost at all. Because everything automatically has super composts. And then obviously I've got the chance to instantly harvest the whole patch at the same time. So Okay. Another 25 points. So this should be pretty easy. It'd be nice and AFK. Okay, well I just spent about 100,000 beans. 
on uh, more leaf, leafy growth potions, and I've taken out seeds that I need. Like that should be the first unlock done, right? Go to the shop. Yep, two hundred. Oh, a bit overboard. All right, so this allows me to plant two at the same time, I guess. Now, when I click on Toad Flex, we'd now be able to plant. Uh, what does this mean? Minimum five. Oh wait, why you get minimum herbs per patch? I didn't know that. Very decent. Yeah, now I'm gonna plant two seeds per patch. Hey, that's my aura gone. Um, can I upgrade anything yet? Oh, nice. Okay. Whoops. I got extra again. Fuck's sake. All right. Um. Yeah, this is gonna allow me to plant four at a time now. And we need seven k until uh the other one. But yeah, once I harvest these, I can now plant all seeds at the same time. Which is really good. Obviously, I'm pretty sure you are going to get, obviously, more herbs if you just plant one seed at a time, but yeah. Um, I thought it'd be, like, equal so you still get the same amount of herbs regardless, but turns out that's not the case. If you plant more herbs, you're guaranteed less every harvest. Which is pretty shit, if you ask me, like, eight. For the first one, for example, you can get minimum three. But then you get five, and then you get eight here. So imagine that, you, you plant four seeds, and you only get eight, eight herbs. That would be, that'd be shit. Ooh, okay, I just finished my Slayer task. Very nice. <clears throat> really good last drop. Okay, so my, yeah, my Slayer task is complete, so let's go get a new Slayer task, and hopefully we can get Noden Dragonkin again. Sick. Alright, um... I don't think I've got too many skips, just in case, but... I can skip two tasks. Hopefully we can get it straight away. That'd be great. Come on, what you got? Very demon dark beast. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Come on. Come on, please, please, please. Soul Devourers, Camel Warriors, okay. Uh, I could do Soul Devourers. Fuck, I'm gonna go for one more skip. I don't, I don't want to do Slayer. I'm gonna do this. Uh, dragons, Grey Demons. Okay, we'll go for Dragons. Looks like we're doing Slayer. Alright, that's my task done. I wasn't gonna do a long task at ED2. I was thinking about it, but I just want to go to carry pack ASAP. If I spend like a couple of hours doing a task, it's just a waste of time for me. So I'd rather just try and get myself a carry pack task. That'd be lovely. Dinosaurs, Edemu. Oh my god, that's horrible. Ah, uh, okay. Dinosaurs. Do I have to do them? Yeah, I do. Rip. Okay, there we go. There's my dinosaur task complete. Oh my god, I hate dinosaurs so much. After the first, like, five kills, I picked up drops, and then I realized it takes so long to pick up drops, so everything I literally left on the ground. Oh, nah, I'm not wasting time doing that. I hate Slayer, man. I don't know, I used to love, I used to love doing Slayer. I still kind of enjoy it. It's just that, obviously, I don't want to do it at the minute. Like, if I'm in the mood, I'll definitely do it, but it's just I'm 156 mil XP. But I just want to camp bosses for now. I just came back to the game and I just want to do like really good bosses for like really good drop. Which is why I don't want to waste time doing Slayer. I just did 79 dinosaurs at Ripper Demons. It didn't take too long, it took like 20 minutes maybe. A bit. Oh my god, yes, there we go. Thank fuck for that. Okay, uh, where are we? Odin Dragonkin. 147, Jesus, a lot. Okay, so we don't, haven't got to worry about getting a task for a while now. 147 Dragonkin, 147 Hard Mode Carapac. That's going to take a while, so... Done. Okay, that is a cheeky raid done. Thank you for raid. Very nice team. I think this time I'm probably going to buy a reroll token, see if I can get like something good. 
because obviously I still haven't got active account. Um, Alright, let's grab my Luck of the Dwarves. So that is. And. I th yeah, I think I'm just going to buy a reroll token. I've got 30,000 techie. Like, Acto increases if you have the other pieces, but. I don't know. I, can't, I don't see the point in a reroll token. Good luck. Yaka. Beastmaster. Nothing. Okay, so raid done. <clears throat> Alright, very good, very good. See what we can get from that. Luck ring is on. We grab another reroll token, I think. Okay. So for reroll token. Let's go. Hey, uh, nothing from Yakamaru. Uh, Beastmaster, we get. I can't see anything. Nothing. Okay, nothing. Fair enough. Maybe next time. Alright, so we've got a really good reward coming up. So yeah, do my player own farms and look who's here. Old Pauline. So um yeah, let me just grab a spirit yak. One do I choose? Not that one. Ah, child, why not? And let's go. Get myself a cheeky little livid plant. Done. That's an easy how many points? Uh wow, thirty-five thousand? Well, I swear that's like oh my god. That usually it's like fifteen thousand. How the fuck did that give me thirty-five thousand? That's disgusting. That's like two and a half hours. Holy fuck. Very nice. Oh yeah, by the way, I just did, uh, I did Merchant, and we got a large gift offering, which is usually trash, but whatever. We also got, uh, a Horn of Honor from, uh, Merchant, so yeah, that's easy points, I guess, so, I don't know, Vector, I guess? Good that you can get that from, uh, Merchant now, because it's like a dead minigame, so. Okay, let's go, uh, good luck. Nope. Ring first. No, uh, Yakamaru. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, Beastmaster. Nothing, I think. Uh, nothing. My god. My Ray's luck, man. One day. One day I'll get something. Okay. Um, yeah, we do need to buy some more of these. Um, I just buy a hundred and... So you can have this. 130,000 beans gone. Hey, this should be the last one now I need. After I finish this patch, I should be able to unlock the next one. There's seven seeds. Pretty sure. Yep, there we go. I've got tier 3. Done. It allows me to plant uh, 7 seeds at a time now. See how many we get for it. Plant 4. Get into tier 4. The 10 herbs shouldn't take too long. 10 seeds, sorry. Come on. How many points do I get? And we get. Oh, 350. That's not too bad. Okay, that is another Yaka done. Full raid. Okie dokie. I'm going to hop those before I loot because this world is horrendous. I literally have such bad delay. Okie dokie. Thank you everything. Grab my uh, Luck of the Dwarves. 
And let's grab a another reroll token. I can only buy two more now, I think. Yeah. Alright, hopefully we can get some Acto, that would be lovely. Good luck, good luck. Oh, whoops. Collect. Alright, Yakamaru first. And we get nothing. Reroll into nothing. Beautiful. Pretty good. Alright, uh, now Beastmaster. Nothing into a codex, really. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, that is very useless, but better than nothing, eh? Better than nothing. Oh yeah, I can also loot this as well. I got all of these to collect, if we can get anything. Uh, you can't really... Okay, a gift of the Reaper is not too bad. Life refresh or refresh. Like, a couple of weeks ago in these events, you could get, like, Death Touch Darts, which is how I've got, like, five in my bank. Darts anymore. A shame. There we get some nice stuff. Anima, Gift of the Reaper. Life refresh. Okay. Yeah, so one thing I forgot to do a while ago is buy myself a Zamorok Staff, because currently I use a Gothic Staff in my EOF. Or, um, Ardmund Karapak. Obviously the Zami Staff is, like, really good, because it drains their magic attack, right? If I buy one of these, the Aradema Staff I'm pretty sure is not good. I'm not sure if it tells me what it does. Oh, okay, fine. So yeah, this is what I currently use on my EOF, but this all this does is gives you an affinity buff, right? Whereas a Zami Staff, like, drains the enemy's magic level, which just means, like, the 3, 4, 5k's I take from Karapak on the last phase. Like, it's gonna be a lot less, right? Because if I constantly use this throughout the kill, and make his magic level, like, really low, maybe he'll start hitting, like, 1, 2k's on me, instead of the 5k's. So, yeah, I'm gonna put this one in my EOF. I'm not sure if I'm gonna override it with, like, Gothic Staff, or if I'm just gonna make a new one, because I have, like, 3 or 4 EOFs, right? I guess I should, I should just make a new one, because I got three EOFs and I can make a lot more yet. So I got this one, which is my Gothic Staff. I can either override it with a Zami Staff instead, or I can just put it in one of these. So these ones are currently not the best stats, but I do have ornament kits. else somewhere here. So yeah, we can just turn these into the... Let's mix that together. Okay. I got myself a Essence of Finality Ornament Kit. So if we just put an Ornament Kit on one of these, I guess the blue one for now. That way this one is now 59 in every stat. And that just allows me to have another EOF in my inventory for Zami Spec. That way I haven't got to switch between the two, right? I can just click Spec or Zami Spec. But yeah, I think now that I've got this, I'll be using... Because it is exactly the same as the Gothic stuff. It's just one... They just have different effects, yeah. One drains the defense, one drains the magic. Yeah, I guess I'll just put it in the new one. That way I can use both. So I'll claw the Gothics in that one. This one is going to be now... Let me start. Okay, there we go. So I'm now going to be using two EOFs for magic. Over 200 hard mode carry back now. Yeah, so unfortunately now I have pretty much no more brews. Because I have no more bird's nests. Really, I really don't want to go and grind out bird's nests. Because, although you can get them quite quickly, yeah, I'm just not in the mood. I did make a shitload of Gothic's Rest Flasks. Yeah, I can now just, like, use these because they're so easy to make. Like, it doesn't require pretty much anything, just herbs. But I'm hoping with the Zamorok Staff EOF, that's going to make it, so I no longer have to switch to Seasinger's last phase. That'll be really good, because obviously he's not going to hit as hard with magic. Which means hopefully I can save runes on Animate Dead, so I don't have to use that every kill. And I don't have to use Tank Armor every kill, that'd be really good. But we'll see. Yeah, I think that's going to be all for this video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully we get a hard mode Garapat drop soon, because... Yeah, I don't know, the grind is real, honestly. Like... I'm doing some things in between, but like 90% is hard mode carry back solo. So like I'd go to a raid, I'd log on, I'd go to a raid, that'll take like 20 minutes, and then I'll go solo for like 2, 3, 4, 5 hours, whatever. And yeah, all of that time, like, 
it's so hard to make videos from it because I get nothing. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, the only thing we can do is keep grinding, honestly, until we get the stuff. Yeah. Uh, yep, yeah, anyway, I'll see you in the next one.